Michael, thank you. Governor Whitmer was in West Michigan today. She was making a last minute push for congressional candidate Hillary Skolton and the Biden Harris ticket. Our Doug Rudin joins us in studio now with a recap of her visit today. Doug. Yeah, good evening to you both. Eight days to go. We should mention and you can tell that Michigan is an important priority just by the amount of attention that's been paid to our voters in the last month or so. Joe Biden was here a few weeks ago. Vice President Mike Pence was here a few days after that. Kamala Harris was in Michigan yesterday and then today Governor Whitmer was in West Michigan in the third district campaigning for Democratic candidate Hillary Skolton. She's running against Peter Meyer in that open seat left by Republican turned independent Justin Amash. He is not running for re-election. On Saturday, Michigan set a new record for COVID cases here in the state. The governor taking some questions about it after the event, saying it may be difficult to work with the GOP-led legislature who, by and large, oppose a mask mandate. The governor also said she'd be working the Biden administration from day one on new safety measures in Michigan. But first, Biden needs to win, and though polls show a lead in Michigan, the governor said she remembered a similar lead that Hillary Clinton had in 2016 when Donald Trump barely won the state. They know how important Michigan is, and while the polls look good, no one is going to rest uh, until this election is, is totally over, and that's why we're going to work so hard up until the close of polls on election day. And keep in mind, this is all beyond the backdrop of a presidential visit tomorrow. President Trump will be in Lansing for a rally Tuesday afternoon. And of course, we'll be there live covering it for you. Janice, Annie.